Let's see. Hello, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is May 17th of 2019. It's about oh, 3.16 p.m. Uh, the only lighting I have is the shade is open, so I'm getting some direct sunlight. Well, there's not direct, but it's, you know, the daylight coming in. <clears throat> I think that's actually a lot uh, better for the quality of the video than my artificial lights. Got an overhead fan going, a ceiling fan going. I don't know if you can... I don't think you're picking up. It's going on low speed. Um, let me jump over here. I'm from Missouri, by the way. Uh, that's my home state. Um, don't want to get into any politics at all because my last video was uh, almost an hour entirely on politics. So I do not want to get into that. I'd like to totally avoid it. Um, Here's some information on my last few videos. The last one I, the one on politics, I called it DEFCOM Stupid. And uh, it was recorded uh, on the 15th, and today's the 17th, and it's had 47 views. You can see that I turned off the ability to make money from, you know, on it because, uh, well, I mean, YouTube would not want anybody to advertise on it because it's going to, uh, uh, I mean, half of the viewers are not going to be happy and you don't want, you know, no, no, no advertiser wants to uh, put an advertisement on something that's going to piss off half the audience. So, so I turned it off. You can see down here, I also turned off the ability on uh, this video, which I don't remember why, but probably politics. And uh, here's a video I also turned it off on. And then here's a, I did a review, or not really a review, but a, a, about the HyperX microphone. But I, if I remember correctly, there was, then I talked about politics. So, uh, huh. Oh, okay. I must have, I don't know why that's turned off. I think this is the one because they turned it off, apparently. Uh, not suitable because it's marked not suitable for advertisers. So, that was one that was 53. It must have had some politics on it. And then here's another one that's. Uh, I turned off, and here's uh, two in a row that I turned off the ability to make money. So uh, let's go to uh, my channel. By the way, uh, YouTube is doing away with. Uh, let's see if they've done away with. Hello. It. I want to they welcome have. you to Howard's Notebook. Oops. I've been doing this since... Um, on this side over here, YouTube had a list of recommended sites or something. Now, these are ones that I have... Rec that I'm subscribed to and that that I recommend to you. The Young Turks. Actually, I've gotten kind of tired of them. I think I'm going to take them off the list. And these other, you know. And so, um, down here, I forget exactly how. So, they removed it for some reason on everybody's site because they said it wasn't productive. Uh, so, I'm not sure if they're offering up something else to go there or uh, or what. So, um, I think here, 
maybe next week I'm going to order I'm going to either go and pick up uh, my ex-wife and I back uh, in the late 1960s had an aquarium tropical fish shop for about I think three years and uh, that would be in the late 1960s and when we sold it I don't think I ever had a fish I don't think I ever had a fish tank after that because it was she took care of the ordering and she took care of the pricing and I did you know went to pick up the fish and uh, at the airport and cleaned the tanks and we both sold though sometimes well, if she was uh, we both sold in the shop and uh, but I'm thinking of getting after all these years I've been looking at YouTube videos by uh, people that have tropical fish and tropical fish shops and things like that and I'm thinking of getting a small tank and putting it someplace maybe where when I'm making a video it would be in the background or something and small small tanks actually are harder to take care of than bigger tanks if you have a small tank you have extreme fluctuations of you know temperature and water conditions and all that type of stuff if you have a bigger tank but I think I think I'm gonna go but I'm not sure I think I'm gonna go with a five or a ten gallon tank but anyway I looked at the prices on uh, you know Amazon where I buy everything looked at the prices uh, I went to Walmart. I was look. We went for groceries. Went to uh, Walmart and went back to well, my daughter. I went. She took me to Walmart because so I could purchase food, and she was getting uh, cat food and stuff like that, and some food also, you know. And so the pet food thing. I went around the corner to where the pet supplies were and everything they had like one or two 10 gallon tanks and I thought wow so you know not not much to uh, but then after a few weeks or months I was thinking you know I can't understand how come Walmart would not have and then I think I figured it out <clears throat> not very far away from there is a home mart is the uh, garden supplies I think if we'd have gone over there, I think they would have had aquarium stands, all different sizes of tanks. Um, then just a few days ago, I now we've I've gone with uh, my daughter Hillary to Petco because uh, she goes there and buys a certain kind of cat food or whatever and, and other things for her for cat. And uh, I was really amazed at the everything they had, and the uh, you know different size fish tanks and the stands and all, and also at the prices. But I sort of forgot the prices, and then I went to um, the website yesterday or a day or two ago and looked online at Petco and they have some great prices so I may be going to Petco to to get you know get the fish tank and now um, also apparently they have not apparently they do have from I'm not sure how often from time to time they have a dollar a gallon tank sale so you can get a 10 gallon tank for ten dollars you can get a 20 gallon tank for you know twenty dollars you can get a 40 gallon tank for forty dollars or those are some great prices now those are the prices of the tank alone you know but that would not be a problem I could you know 
uh, even though it's been a long time. And but I've been looking also at uh, videos from fish shops and things like that. So I, you know, I, I could pick up the pumps and and uh, the other items and add it. So uh, I the, back when we had our fish shop. Uh, we sold really healthy fish, and I ran them through a quarantine process when we got them in. And uh, we had the best plants in the in the greater Kansas City area. We had the best plants because I ordered in the, you know, you could order from some places and just get plants that were outdoors in Florida, and they, you know, threw a hook in and pulled up the salad or whatever and, you know, sold them or whatever. But uh, I ordered, you know, quali high quality plants. And before the aquarium show that was held once a year in Kansas City, all those people who <laughs> looked down on us because they were hobbyists and some of them had, and a lot of them had more tanks in their homes than we had in our shop, you know, and a lot of them engaged in actually operating a business sort of out of there, which is fine. I didn't care. But they kind of looked down on us. But before the aquarium show, uh, they would all come over and buy, you know, buy all our plants up. So I, I love plants. I also became very knowledgeable about tropical fish diseases and uh, even taught a uh, non-credit course at a community college. Um, and we sold uh, our own medications that we packaged up and we had people coming from out of town to get and the, it was because you could go to the local Katz's or drugstore or whatever or Woolco or whatever and you could buy some uh, you know uh, medication for your fish or whatever but it wasn't the the best and it wasn't in the proper dose you know you'd say it'd be very expensive and you really wouldn't get enough so we had our own in you know prescription vials we had to order it uh, we ordered it through a veterinarian because he had because it's you know you needed a prescription you know we didn't need a prescription went you know but he had we go through him get it in and we bottled it up and with a label and the whole thing and people came so um, So when I I love plants and uh, of course back then I was I, we never messed with uh, salt water I mean a lot of fish shops did carry salt water you know uh, fish and what have you but back then in the late 60s it was difficult things of every year they improved you know the filters and all kinds of stuff um, but we never got into that. And I'm not really interested in getting into it again. Although I might, if I set up a small tank, I might set up a small salt water tank. That would be totally new to me. But uh, um, I would be, for, oh, anyway, let's take the fresh water tank first. Plants. I love plants. So I'm, I may, then there's a few fish I really love, you know. Back then it was, you know, discus or whatever I, I loved, um, and other fish, Placostomus, I love them. Now they're breeding, you can actually breed them in your tank. Uh, that was unheard of in the, back in the 60s. Um, but, so I, yeah, I'd be hard pressed not to get a Placostomus, a small one. It's, some of them grow really large. But, so, if I get a tank, it's going to be Plants are going to be the key thing for the freshwater tank, and uh, I love snails. Uh, not all the ones that are, you know, but different kinds of snails, and so it'd be very basic. And uh, but it might be nice, and maybe I, you know, as I set it up, I could show you how I set it up and. There are people, there are YouTube people, there are people on YouTube that you can go there. And uh, what I think I show his, 
What's it? Uh, oh, anyway, you'll find it. But uh, so I, I would show you how I set and tell you that you know where I got the plants, and I think probably now I might see some plants at if I go to Petco, but I'm thinking of ordering the plants from uh, you know aquarium shops that advertise on YouTube and uh, maybe even ordering in the snails and a few other items, maybe even some fish. Uh, but so we'll see what happens. So that's something as I do it, I'll tell you about it and I'm, and uh, if it works out well, you know, but there are some people who have, I'll put the links below. Well, not all the links below. I'll put a couple of links below to places if you're interested in tropical fish or if you're, uh, uh, what's it called, the computer co-op or fit aquarium co-op or something. I forget what it, which one it. I've watched a ton of his videos and he does like I do talks for an hour or, <clears throat> or more. Um, this tank does look interesting because it's a 15 gallon. So, but the problem would be, uh, you know, if you get a standard size tank, then, you know, you can get your, you know, get the, of course, this comes with everything, but still, you know, probably if you wanted to, uh, uh, you know, it's not a standard size. So, five gallon, 10 gallon, 15 gallon, 20 high, 20 long, and then you got, well, they have 40. Don't remember ever having a 40 or selling a 40. 29 gallon, I guess, was the next step up for us. Uh, we did have a, I think a, 50 or 100 gallon, I think a 50 gallon at home when we had the fish shop. So anyway, that's going to be uh, coming. Just want to get this video up. I'm still using uh, OBS Studio. And I'm still using my uh, Logitech uh, USB camera. Um, oh, I saw a, I think it was on YouTube, uh, one of the companies that makes uh, one of these 360 degree cameras that you've seen and you've seen video of it or whatever, they have come out with a new one, but it's a thousand dollars, but I would love to have that, but it's out of my price range. Uh, so you'll probably see some... Uh, videos on YouTube. I mean, they're, it's, no matter how you're using it, it knows to, it takes out the camera. So if you have the camera, you know, the 360 on it, on a tripod or whatever, you would, you would see the tripod, but the camera has, is taken out of the, uh, whatever, and best 4K, uh, does all kinds of stuff. Pretty neat. I had, uh, I'd love to have one because it seems like it'd be really fun to make some fantastic, but there'll be other people doing it so I can watch their, uh, watch their videos. Um, what else is going on? Oh, there was something, let me go here to, seems like there was, let me go to my wish list because I stick things on here. Oh, this is it. I have a G910 Logitech, and it's, it's a great keyboard. Uh, and I have the DOS keyboard or whatever, which it's a great keyboard, uh, except that the, the keys on it are kind of, it wears me out pushing, you know, the keys, and then also it's not a lighted keyboard, or at least the one that I have. And I have some other keyboards. Uh, this one, I think I think it may be new. 
Um, it looks like a really nice one, you know, for $75. And I really like this thing up here. This is a two. Um, I want my keyboard to have, you know, a volume control on the keyboard so I don't have to. In fact, I really, I'm using, again, I've switched, again, I'm using the uh, tower uh, speaker system, so I can't even, you know, there's no no way to reach the, um, but so I do like these. Well, this here, uh, this up here in the corner here, that's your volume, but then you hit a switch or whatever, and then it control, you can control your lights with it too or whatever. So it looks pretty neat. I haven't tried it, and I hope I don't buy it because I don't need another keyboard. But I wanted to show you that something else to jog my... Um, This, by the way, was a recommended uh, one of those YouTube videos that I watched. This somebody recommended this for a five-gallon tank. Said that it was well constructed and uh, and good or whatever. It's only getting four stars, but all all the fish tanks only get looks like four stars in the most uh, the most they get. Um, I'm guessing that out of 10, well, of course, if you get a plastic tank, you probably would be okay. The glass tank, I'm going to guess that yeah, three out of 10 comes broken or something. I don't want to go through that. So I may get the tank at, you know, Petco. If I can get Hillary to uh, run me over there when I have money. Um... But I don't know. Oh, yeah, I saw some tanks that were, of course, you don't have to use them that way. They were uh, marine, you know, saltwater tanks, you know, and uh, they came with really powerful lights because of, you know, needing more lights for saltwater uh, tanks. So... But uh, you can always, you know, upgrade your light. I, I think I need to go to Petco and uh, actually physically, you know, look at the tanks. And I'm sure if I go, um, I'm going to need another chair. This The hydraulic thing, I'm kind of sitting kind of low. The hydraulic thing has gone out. Um, these are kind of expensive. Uh, they're not very big. We're talking about 10 inches or whatever. I love plants, but for the... I used to do really well with plants. And I don't know what in the hell happened. Uh, now every plant dies. I guess... I guess I'm getting old and dying, so the plants decide they don't want to stick around or something. guess that's it. I'll try to uh, put some links below to some of these things I've mentioned. And uh, sometimes when I upload the video, I don't get the links down below immediately. But I do thank you for watching. Thank you very much.